Today, I'm at the beautiful 55 and older community of Del Webb in Houston, Georgia. Now, Del Webb has beautiful grounds and amazing amenities, making it one of Atlanta's top resort style luxury 55 plus communities. My name is Tanya Cristiano and I help people who are interested in retiring in Georgia. I help them to identify the perfect 55 and older community to fit their ideal retirement lifestyle. Now I've done other video tours of this neighborhood before on my channel where I tour the amenities and I tour the model houses, but I always get a lot of questions about what features you see in the model that are standard opposed to what is considered an upgrade. I'm in the process right now of building two houses here in this community for a couple of my clients and so I thought while well, everything is just still kind of fresh in my head I'm gonna walk through this model which this model is the Taft Street and I'm gonna point out what things in here are considered upgrades and what would be standard and I'm gonna give approximate pricing so if you're thinking about retiring in a 55 and older community here in Georgia and possibly looking into Del Webb you are definitely not gonna to want to miss this video so let's get started. My name is Tanya Cristiano and I specialize in helping people find the perfect fit when it comes to choosing a retirement community in Georgia. So if you're thinking about retiring in Georgia and you are considering a 55 and older community, please feel free to reach out to me, call me, text me, whatever you're comfortable with. I would love to be a resource for you. Trust me when I tell you that not all retirement communities are created equal. So it's going to be important to really understand the nuances of each community before you make a decision. Stick around to the end of the video and I'm going to explain how you can get the inside track to special prices and unlisted opportunities. Now I'm currently building two houses here for two separate clients and I have their files right here. So whereas I can't give you specific pricing, I can give you a range of what you can expect to pay for certain upgrades, certain popular upgrades. Now keep in mind that prices, they change all the time. Also keep in mind that Prices vary according to plan, because think about it, if you choose this large floor plan with the massive kitchen, it's gonna cost you a lot more to upgrade the cabinetry than if you chose a smaller floor plan like this Taft Street with less cabinetry, because there's just less cabinetry to upgrade. Now, my clients, they spend an average of about $65,000 at the design center and that's with us being very careful on where we're putting our money and getting it in the best possible places now the houses that we're creating are coming out stunning very designer so i'm happy with the way they are coming out so that's good but it's super important to know that if you think that you're going to purchase a house pay the base price and have a house to, that looks like this it's not really realistic it's going to look very different if you don't spend some money in the design center so today we're going to walk through this floor plan which is the taft street and i'm going to point out some different features that you can expect to pay extra for and i'm going to give you a range of some prices so why don't we get started So now let's walk through the house and talk about what are the typical upgrades that you're gonna see in a model house that aren't a standard feature. So starting with the exterior elevation, I've seen them range anywhere from 11,000 to $15,000. And that really depends on the materials. So the elevations that have more brick or more stone are gonna be more expensive. So let's approach the door. Now this is a standard door, so there's not an upgrade here. You will see that these homes do all come with a ring doorbell, which is a standard option with the smart home package. So now let's go inside. There we go. So the first room on the left here is the library. And this library would have upgraded light fixtures, this accent wall is an upgrade, and these doors here are actually an upgrade as well, and they usually are around $1,100, $1,200. Let's go through here. Now we have the living room, kitchen area. Now the hardwood floors are typically standard in the foyer and the hallways and the kitchen. So in a 
non-upgraded situation, this entire living room would be carpeted. So keep that in mind. And the pricing for the hardwood floors, it really varies based on the level of hardwood that you select. Now, there are some options for LVP, and that is a great way to save some money. So let's go through here. This over here is the entrance into the garage, and this is your drop zone. Now, the drop zone is anywhere from 1500 to $3,000, $4,000. That really depends on the size. Some of these houses have really little drop zones, and then some of them have you know, larger drop zones. This is a fairly standard bedroom. You have carpet here. Um, carpet is standard in all the bedrooms. Now, one thing you can do relatively inexpensively is upgrade the level of carpet. My last client spent about $700 upgrading her carpet for the entire house, which really isn't bad. And then she spent another couple hundred dollars upgrading the pad. So it really gave it a more luxurious feel and it really wasn't that much money. So let's keep going. This is the guest bathroom here, and it doesn't have a lot of upgrades. You can see that you have the acrylic surround here. This is standard. When you see secondary bathrooms that have tile going to the ceiling, that is all an additional cost. There are different levels of tile, but even just replacing the surround is an upgrade. Now you have your vanity, it's a cultured marble, and it has a standard round basin here. This is a upgraded level of cabinetry as well. So let's keep going. Of course, all the additional trim that you see on the walls are considered upgrades. And then we're gonna follow through to the kitchen, which has a lot of upgrades. So in the kitchen, you're gonna see a lot of upgrades in here. Um, you have upgraded quartz. Here you have upgraded cabinetry, which is very nice. And this here is a standard stove, so you're not getting an upgrade here. This is a standard backsplash, a very, you know, clean subway tile. So that's a standard backsplash, looks very nice. Homes do not come with refrigerators. Let's see, what else? You have this here, this is an upgrade. This elevated dishwasher. So it's really nice if you have back problems and you know it helps to where you do not have to bend down to remove the dishes. This is a good example of a standard sink. Sinks can be upgraded, but you're looking at around $500. Okay, so this is a sunroom, and I think this is a very important upgrade for this plan. Oh my goodness, look at this deer, this baby deer back there, it is so cute. Oh, I love it here. It's so cute. Anyway, this is a sunroom. I've seen sunrooms range anywhere from 20 to $28,000. Now there are other options for this space. You can just do a covered lanai, which would be less money. You can do a covered lanai with a screened uh, surround that is a little bit more expensive. And then the most expensive option would be in completely enclosing it as a sunroom. Lanais are actually pretty expensive as well as far as like the screened in lanais. I've seen them run anywhere from 13 to $18,000. So it is so cute, look at it. It's looking at me over here, over here. Okay, so now let's go check out the master. One other thing to keep in mind is that a lot of these plans, most of them I believe, have the option for the second floor. So if you have chosen to do a second floor in this plan, which this model has not, the staircase leading upstairs would be going right there. All right, let's go check out the laundry room. So this is a standard laundry room. You have your wire shelving. There's an option for an upgrade to put cabinetry here. I've seen that starting at around $700, and then it goes up based on the type of cabinetry that you, you know, actually select. This is an upgraded tile, however. Let's put the master. 
This is a beautiful master. You have a tray ceiling in here and the trays I believe are around $1,200. Um, now the woodwork in there, that is a designer feature. So, you know, that's probably something that's better done after closing. Go so see the master bathroom. Okay. So this master bathroom has upgraded cabinetry and countertops. It does have the standard round sinks and you have your standard shower here. Now it doesn't have the zero entry but you do have a bench, upgraded tile, and the window, the addition of the window is actually an upgrade, which I believe is around $450, but it's so important because without that, this bathroom would have no natural light. And then here you have a standard closet setup with wires, wire racks, and carpet. Anxious about your upcoming design center appointment? Well, check out this video right here. So that's a wrap for the detailed tour of the Top Street plan. I really hope that it was helpful. Like I said before, I specialize in helping people find the perfect fit when it comes to choosing a retirement community in Georgia. So if you think that you are interested in retiring in Georgia and possibly even living in a 55 and older community, Call me, you know, shoot me a text, whatever you're comfortable with. I'd love to be a resource for you and really help you identify the community that is going to give you the retirement lifestyle that you want. Now, I have a very good relationship with the on-site sales team here. And so what that means for my clients is that when special deals pop up, like added incentives or free lots, they call me and they say, hey, Tanya, we have just had a couple of free lots come up or our incentives have gone up this month. Do you have any clients who might be interested? And at that point, what do I do? I look through my client list and I start making calls and reaching out to everybody to see if anybody is in the position to make a move and really take advantage of those promotions because they're sporadic and there's really no telling when one is going to pop up. So if you're interested in a 55 and older community, new construction like this, you know, give me a call. Let's start a relationship so that when something does come up, you're the first one to know about it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye y'all.